So in a previous video, I showed you how we could import a point cloud into Blender and render it in cycles using color attributes. And with the release of Blender 4.2, we can now do this using the EV render engine, which means that we can render points much faster and we can use new effects like ray tracing to visualize our point clouds. So I'm gonna walk you through the process in Blender 4.2. So with Blender open, I'm gonna to go to File, Import, and then I'm gonna choose Stanford PLY. And then I'm gonna to navigate to the location where I've saved my PLY file. And I'm gonna put a link to this one in the description so that you can use it as well. I'm gonna press Import PLY, and then I can see that my points come into the scene, but currently they're vertices. So what I'm gonna do is go over to Geometry Nodes. I'm gonna add a new Geometry Nodes tree. I'm gonna press Shift A, and I'm gonna search for mesh to points. I'm gonna put that into my node tree and you can see that the vertices turn to points. And the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm going to give myself the ability to change the radius of those points. So I'm gonna press Shift A again. I'm gonna search for set point radius, put that in my node tree. And I'm gonna connect that to my geo nodes input so that I can change the size of my points using this value here. And finally, I'm gonna add a node which is called set material, and then I'm gonna choose the default material that comes with the object. And so with these nodes, we have everything we need to set up the points for rendering in EV. So I'm now gonna go over to the shading tab and I'm going to choose that default material that comes with Blender. And here I'm going to add a attribute node. So again, I'm going to press Shift A and I'm going to search for attribute and I'm going to plug that into the principled BSDF. And the attribute that I want to use can be found here in the data properties under color attributes. You can see it's col spelled like this. So I'm going to type col into my attribute node and then I'm going to link the color socket into the principled BSDF. And you can see with that, we get the colors showing on the points. And if we change the viewport shading mode to rendered, you can see that the point cloud is interacting with lights as well. So this means we can do really cool things like we can go over to EV and we can turn on ray tracing and we'll get more advanced lighting. We can also go over to the world settings in the shader here and we can press shift A and we can search for a principled volume node. If I plug that into the volume input of my world, we can create a kind of fog. If I just turn the density down a bit to something like 0.03, you can see we've created a kind of atmospheric fog inside of our point cloud, which is quite nice. And the great thing about being able to see the points in Eevee is that we can edit them as we would any model inside of Blender that has points. So for instance, if I wanted to go through and like cut out a large section of this model, I could turn on my X-ray mode. I could press C to do a brush select. I could select a circle, invert the selection, delete that. And I can basically kind of chop out and extract parts of my point cloud. And this makes editing point clouds so much easier and so much more accessible.